Well, hello. Hi. Nice to see you here. Hey, it's Darren with the Weird Darkness Podcast, and you're watching Raise Chaos, and you need to subscribe right now. Otherwise, I'm going to raise some chaos. Everybody, my name is Ray's Chaos. You've made it back to this channel, and <laughs> it's still it's still October. <laughs> can you feel it? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I can feel it. So, kind of been going a little light with the uh, with the, the the with the videos as far as October is gone. It's been pretty. I mean, I did the deluxe pop and. Uh, that's kind of a weak Friday video. I mean, I did the pin video. I did my best to cater that to it being, once again, October. Um, and I think it went pretty well. Um, then you've got the, the Wednesday videos, which aren't, like, Halloween-y at all. But uh, Ray has promised to give the, the, uh, uh, the comic covers um, Wednesdays when he has them. And that's exactly what he does. As soon as he gets them, he makes that video and he puts it up and gets it ready to set, be sent out. Um, so, Ray's is going to make up for it a bit this time. Because Ray's has the horror 13-day spooky countdown. Now, my issue with these is... Um, why is it 13? I mean, what's it counting down to? It's just like, just because it's 13? I mean, okay, whatever. Um, a little confusing. Um, Ray's did get a uh, horror, or, or uh, a, I, I think it was a, a, a full month Halloween uh, calendar at one point. Uh, an advent calendar. And, uh, Little afraid that the same things are going to be in this one that were in that one. But that was years ago, so uh, we can't say for sure. Um, heck, I'll be surprised if I even remember if it's the same thing or not. But uh, some of them I do remember, and uh, some of them, you know, I, I might not. Hopefully there's at least some new ones in here. So I'm going to go ahead and put this guy away, and we're going to start tearing into this thing. So just looking at the box... There's one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven. There's seven or eight different characters on here that really look like uh, the characters from the previous uh, uh, advent calendar that I got. And obviously I know that the, uh, the Grady girls are not going to be the big finale um at this point because this doesn't look like it's got a two-pack but it still it begs the question how many of these are repeat characters um some of them i'm fairly confident are um even if i don't remember them exactly but we're gonna go ahead and tear into this sucker get a good look at it yes Tearing that sucker in there. I think it's a slip case. Of course it is. And we've got this fun little, little, oh, look at how creepy that is. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Yeah, normally, uh, Ray's does do the advent calendars where he goes day to day on this, but like, uh, I don't really see a point in doing that. <laughs> so, Ray's wasn't even expecting to get this, but he managed to. And so he's going to tear this thing open. We're going to go through these real quick to kind of get the decision as to how this thing went. And, uh,. The first one we have is the La Llorona. <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay. 
So they're starting right off with one that Ray's hasn't seen. Um, uh, as if you've watched some of my previous videos, you know I got this major prize box from Cat Daddy Carnage, and he included the Funko Pop in there, in which I had explained in that one that I haven't seen that movie yet. So I didn't get the pop for it because I hadn't seen the movie and didn't know if I was going to like it or not. Still haven't seen the movie, but now I've got the mini too. <laughs> so I don't really have a opinion about this. <laughs> so we're going to set her aside over here. And we're going to go ahead and stab into the next one. And. What did we get here? We got, I can't really tell. What is this? Okay. I'm going to guess this is, uh, this is from the Lost Boys. And for the life of me, I cannot identify him. Um, I'm guessing he might be the older brother or one. I don't know. I can't really tell because... He's obviously a vampire uh, with the red eyes and uh, the fangs. But, uh, yeah, there's just not enough on here to determine what he is beyond that. So this is definitely a new one. Um, I'm guessing because Lost Boys is one of the things that is on this thing as far as uh, being one of the... Lost Boys is one of the uh, franchises that is claimed to be in this. So, yeah, I'm going to say that this is one of the Lost Boys. Uh, probably figure it out later, but not right now. And who's next? For number three, that is... Oh! Goodness me, this is Happy Days. This is Happy Days. We have got... The OG Pennywise. Oh my goodness. Now this one I know was not in the first one because this would have made... I think I even complained about the fact that they only had the old... Or they only had the newer Pennywise. The Skarsgård version. But yeah, getting the classic. Tim Curry... As Pennywise was the scariest thing about that movie. And, uh, yeah, this, uh, this is so co totally cool. This is absolutely awesome. This, this might actually end up having to go up next to the, to the, to that guy when, uh, when all is said and done. <laughs> There's a good possibility that that's what's going to happen with this guy at, at the end of it all. <laughs> But yeah, this is absolutely awesome. I am so glad that I've got this Pennywise. Um, I mean, I'll probably get the newer one somewhere throughout here. Um, but this, this is just, this is the cream of the crop right here. Because, yeah, the Lost Boy's already gotten lost, so. And, oh, oh. oh. They're shooting their shot, and they're shooting it hard. Because next up, he's even got a little base on him, but it's Georgie. <laughs> I definitely did not get a mini of Georgie, and uh, this is this is even this is even cooler. It's even got like the little uh, knock. Oh, I can't tell if that's his. Maybe that's hair. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say that's hair. Initially, I thought it was going to be when he smacks his head on the under, uh, on the, uh, the little, whatever, barricade uh, in the newer movie. But uh, there's that probably not that. And it even looks like it says SS Georgie on the, uh, on the little boat. <laughs> How cool is that? That is, that is spectacularly awesome. So, Boom. I could stop right now and be absolutely happy with this. Um, but to all good things that happen, I knew, I mean, it, she was the freaking cover of it, so I knew this was bound to happen. We've got the Annabelle. 
<clears throat> Annabelle in the chair, chair with the weird freaking eye. Um, think Ray's actually had this pop, but think also that he gave it away in his first giveaway. Um, it was a something exclusive. I don't remember exactly what it was, but, uh, yeah, not a big fan of the Conjuring universe, the Annabelle stuff, uh, or the nun. Um, and I knew this was going to come and happen. Um, but yeah, I'm not too excited about these cause that's really kind of, eh, who cares? Um, it's not a raggedy and all like it was in reality. Um, and it was, <laughs> they were scammers. Um, <laughs> I am going to open up this next one. Please redeem us on this one. And sure enough, we've got, <laughs> we've got the Beetlejuice in his guide pose. And now I am real, this is the first one where I am fairly confident this was in the last one that I got. Um, I'm pretty sure there was a Beetlejuice in that. So this might be my second little Beetlejuice mini. I can't be certain, but when I gather them all together, I'll know for sure. <laughs> because, yeah, Beetlejuice, it's kind of cool. Let me, hold on, I didn't look at it. They've got the little mold spots on him and everything. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's not bad. I haven't seen the new one yet, so I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure that's why it's in this, obviously. Boom! We're into another, number seven. Seven. I could have very easily pulled this and dragged the whole tray out and just pulled them out like that. But it's more fun to stab my finger into the damn thing. And sure enough, we have got the Skarsgård Pennywise holding a balloon. And I want to say it's exactly the same, except uh, the original, uh, the, the first one I got, his feet were kind of messed up and kind of leaned. So I couldn't hardly get him to stand. So if this one stands a little bit better, Ray's is going to be really happy with that. But yeah, uh, the Skarsgård Pennywise... Uh, not my favorite. Um, like I said, I had enough from the, uh, from the Pennywise stuff that, or the, the Georgie and, uh, uh, Curry Pennywise that, you know, I was absolutely happy with that. I'm not upset with this, but like, yeah, I, it, when I'm given the choice, I always lean towards Curry. As most people should. And yeah, we are over halfway through. There, Bob, we'll do. I worried this video is going to take long, but I don't think it's going to. And here it is. Open, you silly little plastic thing. Ugh. Oh, we've got Reagan. I think this is another one that we had in there, but like, this one does seem a little bit different. I will have to do a comparison of the older one, but, uh, yeah, this is Reagan from The Exorcist, and, uh, oh, yeah, very good movie, and it, honestly, it's not a terrible franchise, as long as you, like, as long as you only watch the first and third one, <laughs> the only one's worth watching, um, what killed me was that they actually did the, uh, the the they did the prequel uh where they showed you know the exorcist actually uh harris actually going to uh the you know, and then in the in the exorcist they refer to him as having experience doing an exorcism and uh they talk about how you know it almost killed him on the last and left him with the heart condition and everything and then you watch the prequel movie that's supposed to be him during that specific time. I don't know if I had my hopes set too high, but by the end of it, I'm just like, really? Uh, I, I, I think the, the exorcist was like, <laughs> of course, then again, you know, 
that the exorcist in this movie he does die <laughs> so maybe it's it is a little too much for him and uh the previous one wasn't enough to prepare him for this for this one um wasn't prepared for pazuzu in uh yeah <laughs> Pazuzu, Captain Howdy, whatever you want to call him, Reagan. So, we are on number nine. <clears throat> wow, that came right off. Let's rip that sucker off. And sure enough, we have another Conjuring universe. Um, we have The Nun, which I have never seen The Nun. Um, didn't bother to watch it. I got enough out of her with The Conjuring 2 and, um, didn't really care to see her ever again. So I understand why it's, she's scary and everything, but yeah, I just, I don't know. So, something about The Conjuring movies just kind of repel me. So it's a, it's a, not a bad figure. Um, Maybe I'll watch The Nun at some point. I doubt it, but anything's possible. Um, I do have Shudder, so you never know when I'm going to run out of watching um, the stuff that... <laughs> they've got so much good stuff on there. <laughs> so, wow! We're on to number 10. I think I'm knocking stuff over every time I stab into this thing, but that's totally cool. And we've got... We've got an OG. Uh, yeah, we have got a Friday the 13th Jason Voorhees. Um, I think this was in the first one um, because uh, looks pretty familiar. And uh, yeah, there's not a lot of like really doing a lot of things differently with Jason Voorhees. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I think this is the same one we got, and uh, it's fine. It's fine. It wouldn't. It wouldn't be a horror cal calendar without having him in there. Um, and I was expecting some classic characters along with the with the newer people. And I don't know that I call Jason classic because I am of that era. I don't know. We're, we're getting, but we're keeping with that whole theme right now, because we got Freddy going on this time, and uh, I want to say that we had a Freddy in the first one, but I honestly don't really remember him, um, so if I do have him, then I've got two, but otherwise I am happy to get the Freddy, because, uh, you need one. You need a Freddy. <laughs> Can't do without Freddy Krueger. And what did I do with Jason? Oh, I put him right in front of him. That's what. Um, so we've got our older guys right there. And I'm really looking for these last two. I'm really, I really, they've got to impress me with these. Um, they built it up. I mean, if they had put the... Uh, the Curry Pennywise or the Georgie in there, I would have been super impressed. Um, just taking a guess, we've only gotten one Lost Boy, so I'm going to guess that we're getting a Lost Boy this time. And I am incorrect. Because I've got... I've got Lydia Dietz from... Beetlejuice. And this one I am pretty confident was in uh, the previous one that I got, which was like the full 30 days. Um, so that's a little disappointing because I think I might have two Lydia Deets now. Um, kind of hard to tell. But we are on the last one. And uh, mm, I'm going to guess that this is Another Lost Boy. Um, yeah, I'm doing it again. We don't know. We've got to finish it up. One tears right open. The last one's going to be difficult. So, that ends that. And yes, it is a Lost Boy. And yes, since I was going to guess Lost Boys with all of it, 
Um, this does look like Kiefer Sutherland's character, though. Why wow, you got? This is gonna be the toughest one. Ah, I do believe this is Kiefer Sutherland's character in there? Um, but I do believe it's a little bit different because I think the one that I got in the last one, he was actually holding a to-go pack package of of uh, noodles. Um, so that's a little bit different, but yeah, glad they gave us at least one more Lost Boy. Um, but, oh, yeah, that is so cool. That's so weird how they did the, oh, it's his beard. I was like, what did they do with the two-tone face? Um, yeah, they gave him a beard. He's kind of in his vampire form, um, which may be another difference. I don't remember. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's the 13 days spooky, what is it? 13 days spooky countdown of horror from Funko with the little minis. And I do love the minis. And uh, uh, now it's just time for me to go back through all my other minis and seeing who I've already got and who I don't. Um, the cool thing is that these are actually smaller than the mystery minis, which I've gotten more than a couple horror characters out of those. Um, so... That'll be a good one to, that'll be a fun one to do, um, little comparison, and maybe I'll watch La Llorona, isn't that her name? La Llorona, Curse of La Llorona, I'll sit down and watch that one, maybe, um, if I run out of horror stuff to watch around Halloween, which Ray's never runs out of horror stuff to watch, because <laughs> he likes to rewatch stuff, and then he'll watch new stuff, and then rewatch something else, and maybe rewatch the new. Uh, it's it's a content. It, it is nothing. It is a pure nightmare up here, people. <laughs> but uh, hope you've enjoyed this little uh, countdown. Uh, give me a like on this. I think I am going to put this in my uh, advent calendar playlist. Um, so there you go. We you, you can. If you go back through those, I mean, that's a little difficult just simply because uh, Ray's did that while he was trying to do uh, other stuff. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's a little hard to tell, but, like, always tries to do uh, a horror theme throughout the month. It's just that with the comic book covers, Ray's isn't going to interrupt that at all. So, it's a, almost a month of horror. <laughs> Uh, mostly horror, <laughs> but uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. Give me a hit me up in the comments below and tell me which one of these guys was your favorite. Um, uh, no secret on Ray's part as to which one his favorite was because the OG Pennywise always wins, and uh, yeah, maybe next year they should just do. A advent calendar of killer clowns, which Ray's hasn't done cl cl killer clowns this month. <laughs> Maybe that should be something that he get, looks into. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here now. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and never forget that life is full of odd moments. You never know when you're going to be defined. <laughs>